Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the Merry Messy Desk. So today we are going to work on finishing our pages so I can start on ensembles. This is for the December to remember junk journal challenge. I couldn't remember. I forgot. <laughs> and I'm making two journals and this is the one I'm using for my December daily. We've already done a napkin page, a stenciled page, a creative use of ink and dauber. Um, this is my bubble page, but it is a, it's got bubble wrap and painted and it has a pocket. And this is my painted page. And then I have a couple of my other pages to put in here. And so we're back on our old um, camera holder. <laughs> uh, the one that I had gotten from my dad, it, um, it, it doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to have to get a new one. I'm going to go ahead and keep moving on. Remember, I'm using the recipe book from Hobby Lobby this year. I just thought that it would be fun. It would be easy. So adding in a dyed paper and I have this coffee dyed paper that I made quite a while ago. And so we're going to go ahead and use the, um, the template and I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. I'm going to line it up and I'm going to go ahead and give this a flip. Okay, so our pages, we're just looking for ideas that are um, going to give us pages that are not bulky. Um, and so a dyed page gives you something different in your journal and it is not bulky. Okay, so meaning that it's not going to take up extra space. And so... Um, this is an idea book, or it can be. My other one that I'm making, I actually will be my idea book. This one I'm going to make for my, um, for my December daily. And so, let's see. Um, I have these words, and... Oh, my favorite things. I, I think I want to use this um, for spending the days that I got to spend with my daughter and her family um, in Arizona before they, they move. And I'm going to go ahead and use this and this. I, I know I have some pictures from the gigantic bonfire there. Um, from the that we had at their house it was really wonderful and so you are for this challenge okay so this is a challenge with prizes the details video um is the link is in the description box we do this every month we have a challenge here on the dear julie julie channel and so we one of the things we needed was a dyed page. And then you have to add some type of enhancement or embellishment to it. That's explained in the video. And I am just going to add that. Okay. I think that that will be, um, be a good addition. And I'm not going to add any. Ooh, I was going to say, I'm not going to add anything else. Um, but I really like those. But I can do that when I come back and I um, decorate, okay? When I come back and I actually make the page. But here's my dyed page. You can see that it was, this was towards the end of the day. <laughs> and so my, um, my lace is really light, but I really like it. I think that that's going to be a great addition to my... Um, December daily and to my challenge journal. And then next I have, this is going to be my embossed page. Okay. Now I have this page 
and um, <laughs> it it ripped when I was embossing it. Now this was done. This is called um, water embossing, or um, depending on what I'm you what I use. Okay, and um, because this journal is for me, I'm using some of the things, and um, I love I love the agapanthus here and the butterfly and I just think that that is going to be um, a great little oh perfect I can use the fold over here okay so I did this with a plaque and I will put the video um, showing how I do the water embossing um, I also sometimes use a charger plate I have several plaques that I'll use and so um, yeah so this one is gonna end up it's gonna go in this direction and um, yeah so um, let's go ahead and we'll put the holes in and I haven't gotten out my my uh, little three hole punch to see if the holes will line up but this works <laughs> This works to do it like this. Okay, just want to make sure I'm lined up over there. And I'm just going to use the, my template, which came out of that recipe book. It's one of the pages, um, the divider pages. And so I'm using this book, I'm taking it. It's not going to be a recipe book. For me, it's going to be... Um, something else now this right here is also compromised but that's okay um, so what I'm thinking for this one is um, let's see what if we look in the book <laughs> we'll look in the book okay there's some Yeah, there's some recipe cards like this. How do these come out? They've got to come out so that you can fill them, right? Oh, they come out in towards the center. I love this because this um, this recipe book came with the page protectors it came with recipe cards it came with all this okay so i'm using it in a variety of ways and um so um let's see i think it might be kind of fun to add that right there and to put the recipe of something that I make during um, the holiday and go ahead and turn this into a pocket. You can still write here. I love it. I love it a lot. Okay. So how is everybody today? How are you? Um, I have something really special that I'm going to show you here in just a second. I'm so excited. It's kind of a sneak peek, actually. It's a sneak peek. And so after we get this put on here, okay, so that is going to, now it will be a flap, okay? So it'll be a flip. It'll have a flap. The flap comes over. You'll be able to write here. Um, oh, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little worried about this, but I'll have to pay attention. Okay. Oh, it's not. Okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Um, I do have, <laughs> I do have this piece. <laughs> this came off of something. Came off of another. I can't remember if it was an envelope that somebody sent me. But what if we go ahead and we put this like this right on there. 
and that'll help with where that's ripped there. Okay. And then we're ripped over here also. So let's go ahead and it might not stay down because this is coffee dyed paper and sometimes some of the washi doesn't like the coffee dyed paper. But there you go. I have used that and I have um, added the flip to the page. Let's go ahead and do something over here. Um, well, I'm thinking if I was going to do anything here, I probably would want it to be white. Um, um, Let's see, do I, I do, I do have a white stamp pad. It's, can I find it while you're still here today? <laughs> oh, wow. We're stuck on something. very back corner. There it is. I need to find a different way of, actually I know how I can, how I should display these. Now that I'm using them more, I should. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's see. So this would be an enhancement. We're, um, <laughs> we're highlighting the finicky egg panthus from one of my favorite movies of all time. Let me know if you know what movie that is from. I just watched it around my birthday. Okay, so there. Can you see that? Okay, and then another thing that you can do with this is you can go ahead and give the look of like wood, okay? I don't know if you can see that. It's very faint, but it gives it, it does give it a little bit of a, uh, something so something something is better than nothing <laughs> okay so this is my embossed now you are going to be able to emboss however you want to emboss okay if you want to put it through an embossing machine great if you have embossing stencils um i've shown i've done this before where you use the embossing stencils. There you go. This is what we've got on this side. And I actually like it. Okay, so um, another way of embossing. And remember, I have a pocket here.
Um, so if you have some of these and you're like, well, what are these for? You can also use them as a regular stencil. Um, you can use these uh, with an airbrush and do um, face painting. They're, they're awesome. And I have a whole, a whole bunch that were, uh, were my mom's. And so, you know, I might come back and go through and do a little stenciling with them later. Just, <laughs> but that just gives you an idea. So this is a squishy pad. Okay. You probably could do this with foam sticker. Um, put some, put a foam sticker underneath if you don't have uh, a pad. I use this also. Um, I used to use it for binding. And then I, I didn't, I didn't uh, poke through as much anymore. So I didn't, I haven't been using that. Okay, so this gives me my embossed and I showed you another way to emboss. And of course you can use your embossing folder in an embossing, um, uh, in, in a, in a machine. Okay. So this is this enhancement. I use the white ink and then I also have added, added a flap over here just cause I thought that that was going to be be cool and I didn't want to waste the paper I can always if I need to if I don't need it I can cut it off and this one is going to lay into the journal in that direction so um, yeah so we've got two and um, let's see the, the next thing I did get my lined paper is um, is ready and I think think what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to just, I'm going to just cut it. Okay. So let's go ahead and figure out where it needs to get cut right here and we'll cut it. And then I can add that to the journal. Okay. And that's going to give me a little piece also. <clears throat> so using these prompts, the lines, um, your master board, which is one of the things that we still need to make, all of those things <coughs> are a great way to, um, to, to embellish. Whoop, wrong one. I need this one. <laughs> that was funny. but it's a great way to embellish your, uh, the backs of your pages. So this was white on the back. And so this is our lined paper and now it is finished. And then the next thing that I had that was ready and we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna show you that, um, that little sneak peek here in just a second. So, um, I remember I had done the stamping and then I took the uh, the inside ply of this piece and I put it over the top of, of the stamped image. And I think we're going to be okay to just go ahead and um, we didn't finish it that day because and do the holes and everything because it was still wet. And so um, we didn't even go along and cut around it but there's that and I did leave this I know that I'm probably going to put a pocket or a picture or something there but this is my napkin page and so yeah so we're we're all caught up all of the pages that needed something fixed on them are done and now I'm going to show you that sneak peek, but don't go away after because we're going to go ahead and finish the rest of our pages. Hi everybody, it's Julie. And I received a box from Barb at the Shabby Tree. I won a little goodie from her and I'm going to be opening that on the Dear Julie Julie DIY Home and Garden channel so you can check that out. 
I'll post the link to the video in the description box down below. So, um, yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> I will open it over there and check everything out. I do see one of their little Christmas cards in there. So check that out. And welcome back. Welcome back. So we need a masterboard page and a stack a sticker page and I think I think we'll take this green lined page and we'll use that and the main dishes page maybe yeah okay Can you think of anything else, any other pages I haven't done yet? Okay, so we have this striped page, which I think is awesome. Now, we're going to go ahead and make our stack of sticker. And I have these labels from um, Dollar Tree. Now, these are not your normal um, labels. They actually are ones that you can write on and wipe off but it's going to work because I can still use it as a sticker. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to, um, glue all my things together and then I'm going to staple them to my sticker is how I'm going to do it for this. And so I have this, this came in some happy mail. I think it's going to be a fun little thing to add. And so go ahead and cut that and we're going to make two of them okay so we'll, we're going to do that and um so and remember this journal that i'm making this is for me it's, it's a it's a julie journal so i think i think the kitties would be fun Okay. I don't want to put a good for 10 cents because <laughs> it makes it look like I'm, I'm trying to, uh, no, no, no. I love my kitties. They are the best. Okay. So this is a little file folder. Hmm. Oh, Christmas tree. That's that's kind of funny. Okay. I think we'll go with a oh, Christmas tree and then that gold. So your stack of stickers should have at least three different things added to it. Okay. So we're going to add some of the Tim Holtz words. And then... I'm going to add this, and what I'm going to do is grab this. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can pull the outside off first. Um, a lot of times, that is the way to work with a, a stack sticker. This time, I'm going to be fine with it um, going like this. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I I thought I saw some fabric. <laughs> I guess not. Um, oh, we've got some, we've got numbers. You know, I love numbers. How about we do that? It says 59. I don't know what that could be standing for that day but um that's okay we're gonna go with with that and we're gonna attach it and i'm gonna give it two staples because to me that um makes it look like it's on purpose and then i'm gonna come down here at the bottom and you can sometimes you're able to just glue onto your stickers sometimes you have to staple 
And the cool thing is, is you this this works because you can make these ahead of time, and then when you're going through and just decorating your pages, um, you can go through and just add this to a page, which is what we're going to do. We only need one stack of sticker page, and um, okay. I'm going to do this. Now, the other thing is, is I want to be able to put, if I put a photograph here, I want it to be able to go under this a little bit. So I'm going to take, I have, I happen to have this wrapping paper right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that. And that'll just give me an opening that I can put my photograph or if I, or whatever I'm going to put there. Okay. But I'm figuring I'm probably going to put a picture of the kitties and the tree or, you know, if I can get one. <laughs> okay. But then it also has this, but I've also made a place that I can put something there kind of like the idea of that in there as well. I think we'll put that there for right now. Now this is a little bit bulky, but not too. Um, okay, but that is my stack of sticker page. And I still have another sticker that I can make, but the main thing was to get the page done. Now, um, I'm thinking... So I can make a little card to go in there if I want to. We'll come down all the way. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that is my stack of sticker. Now, a lot of times you've seen me use um, my favorite, those beige stickers, and um, where you can make like five. And they're fun because it's fun to have these and be able to just go through and put them on. Um, I did think about doing them on these. That would be, um, you could do that too. Okay, but there's my stack of sticker page. And so next I have, I have this, okay. And if I take this side, now the thing is, is this can be a little page in the journal, so I'm not, okay. But now I'm looking for things that I can go ahead and um, tear up and use. Now you can do strips, okay? So that's one of the things that we need to do is strips of paper. And so your strips of paper can be straight. They can be like this. Um, you just have to use strips of paper and they can all go down on your page. They can, um, be creatively put down. So maybe you might have a pocket or a belly band or both. And so that's what I think I want to try and do. And I'm just looking for another paper that we can use. Oh, we've got this. It's red. Okay, I like the idea of that. That can go down at the bottom. This is from the <laughs> um, from 
TJ Maxx, I think, or no, Home Goods. It's the measurer when you're measuring the furniture and stuff. I was measuring for a chair. Okay, so there's that. That's a strip of paper. That's gonna work really well. Now you probably would want to use um, scratch paper, but I don't have scratch paper at the moment. So I am going to make a couple strips of paper. I'm gonna use this wallpaper from Tim Holtz. I always use the Tim Holtz stuff for things that are not for me. So I think it'll be kind of fun to to have something that I have made for myself. And so I'll use this piece. And what I'm thinking, I like that. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm, I'm, I, I told you about the pocket. Okay. So this, I could put this under and then make this a pocket. I'm not going to, I'm going to just, but I wanted you to know that you can do that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and make mine, uh, just the page. Okay. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. You're going to see me cut out strips and rip strips to make this page using a variety of the papers that we've been using. And I'll just be lining them up against each other. Um, and we'll have a great page in the end. Now, because this little scrap piece that I'm going to be wanting to use is, um, well, this one is from the wallpaper, from the Tim Holtz wallpaper. I'm excited to use that. I don't usually use the Tim Holtz stuff in my own journals, so I'm excited to have something for my journal. But this is a piece I was talking about. So I went ahead and I put the other two pieces down, and this one will go up go on top because I liked the ripped edge of this scrap. It's a nice way to be able to use some scraps. Remember, you can use straight lines, you can use wavy lines, you could do wavy lines that give you, and ripped, that give you like a desert look or a beach look or sunset. Um, but using strips of paper, you can also use your branding strips and just do a full on branding strip page. I have done basket weave with strips of paper before. Um, so you can check out Dear Julie Julie strips of paper and see what comes up. Ideally, I would love to be able to use scraps, strips of paper scraps, but I don't have a whole lot. So I have gone ahead and grabbed that one piece out of the paper pad and we'll be using that to fill in that space. It's all cut and ready to use and I think it looks great. So we're just gonna put the glue on and add this piece down and then we'll add the black and white and put that on the top lining it up with the corner and we will have the page done. You're going to see that I've come all the way over to the tab edge and with this black and white piece. Okay. And I have um, put a glue across on the actual page that I'm gluing to so that I make sure I have glue all the way around. Okay, so this is my strips of paper. Okay, and then I'll come in and cut off any that are hanging off the edge. Okay. 
Okay, so that is my other side, but that is my lined paper side. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this over here. Um, Now these are gonna give me things I can use on my master board, which is cool. But I want to put something up here. Oh, we've got this cute little, yeah, we're just gonna put that and we'll let it Yeah, let it go a little bit in each direction. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so there's that. That is my strips of paper, and I have this little embellishment is my enhancement up here. Okay, so this is a different, this is a totally different page that I'm going to be able to do something to. And so the other thing to finish this off is we're going to need to add the holes. If I don't have the holes, I can't put it in the, the journal. And so we need a total of 60 pages front and back. So I need 30 pages um, for mine, for my journal. Okay. Um, okay. This did not, did not stay down. So it's being a giving me a hard time so I'm just going to go ahead and staple it okay it says desserts on the other side but that'll get some kind of little card can go in there or a little something can go in there and that'll be fun. So I sped this part up because I was lollygagging around. So this is my master board page and I'm using scraps and then I pull in some Tim Holtz wallpaper and there's wrapping paper on my desk that I'm going to use, a ticket, some digitals. And so I love the way this turns out and there you go. Okay, so a uh, stack of sticker. We did that one. Okay, so this is our stack of sticker. We can mark that off. We did our master board. Our strips of paper are embossed and are dyed. Okay, so all 12 pages are done. We'll go through them really quick. And so these are the ones that have not been put in the journal yet. I have strips of paper. This is embossed. I used a um, water embossed page. This or coffee, it's coffee embossed, but it's a water embossed page. Okay. And then I showed you that we could use one of those gold embossing things with a spongy pad and be able to do that. Um, this is our lines, okay? And it has the washi down the edge. And this right now, it can go either way, okay? It does, it's not gonna matter, but, 
okay then we have our dyed page it has a little bit of the lace here and for its embellishment I added my favorite things okay again there's our stack of sticker and it has a fun little goodie over here that we can put something in just because you know something for something different there's our master board I'll put the top on that very important <laughs> the messy desk okay then we have our napkin page our stenciled page and that see the napkin pages on a dear Julie Julie page are creatively ink and dauber and or sponge and I, this is for me and it had a footprint and I'm like okay I'll use it because I'll cover it with up with something this is a bubble page so these bubbles had ink or paint in them when we we did the straw where you blow in the the thing and then we took it out with a spoon and put it on the page here I used bubble wrap and um, then I painted okay so this is but this is my bubble page this is my painted page and I just painted around the edges okay so one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What are we missing? Ah. Okay. Stenciled stamp stack a sticker. Where's the stamped one? It's here. Here it is. Twelve. <laughs> there's the stamped one okay so those are my 12 um not bulky pages and we'll go ahead and put them in the the journal here this is going to be my december daily so now that i have <laughs> some of it we can maybe even go ahead and get it get it get an idea of what i'm going to do um, I've been saving my ephemera and take and have I have my pictures. Um, so okay, and quite a variety, quite a variety. I'm I'm happy about the variety of pages that I have going on here, and then these other sides will be able to decorate with other things. So next I'll be making my 12 um, um, ensembles. Okay, so those are pages that have um, everything is is done. The um, If it has a pocket, the pocket is filled. If it has tucks, the tucks are filled. And that will be um, what we'll be making next. So I have 12 pages here then I'll have 12 ensemble pages and that'll give me 24 and then I'll need six more pages okay so again we have my napkin page where I put the napkin on the page stencil I stenciled on here and I did go ahead and leave this and have a place for a charm I have my lined pages. This is my embossed lines, dyed, stack of sticker, uh, master board, stamped, ink and sponge or dauber. This one is bubbles. There's bubble wrap on that side. There's bubbles on that side. And this is my painted. But I showed you a couple ways of painting. This was, um, I painted on this one and on this one. But this is my painted page. Okay? So 12 
pages are finished and I think I think it's coming right along now that I found uh, my list we can go ahead and continue on okay so yeah so don't forget you have a sneak peek and I hope you'll go and check that out um, the link to the video of me opening the box from Barb is in the description box down below. I'm just gonna put all these little things around me. It's like, okay, let's get this finished and then maybe we can clean off the desk. That would be awesome, huh? Little birdie fell, a bunch of stuff fell. So find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.